सो वॉट इज़ द पीपल वेलकम टू द थर्ड पार्ट वीडियो ऑन दिस टू डू लिस्ट एप्लीकेशन इन रियक्ट सो इन टिल द लास्ट वीडियो वी हैव क्रिएटेड दिस टू डू लिस्ट एंड वी हैव इम्प्लीमेंटेड द रिमूव बटन सो वेन एवर सम वन क्लिक्स ऑन दिस रिमूव बटन दैट स्पेसिफिक एलिमेंट विल बी रिमूव फ्रॉम दिस लिस्ट राइट सो नाउ ऑल वी नीड टू इम्प्लीमेंट ए फॉर्म हीयर सो दैट वी कैन एड ए न्यू टास्क टू आवर लिस्ट एंड रिमूव बटन वी हैव ऑलरेडी इम्प्लीमेंटेड राइट so i have created here a new component folder and inside that component folder i have created a new folder for the form for the add task form so i named it as new task so let me add this component to our app.js and let's see what is happening so you can see here i have styled it already so if you need the css stylings for this component i will add this into description you can copy that from there so now all we need to implement the all the state management inside this form component right so i am opening the inspect elements and let's open the console so here whenever i am clicking on this add task so nothing is happening here right you already know we can add some use state Uh, to this so we can manage the state and we can fetch like what is happening whenever this button is being clicked right so let's go to our index component and here i have this form so let's go to the form and let's add some event to our button right so we can add the event to our button but Do you know we can add a event to the form also like on submit so i am saying add task handler so let's create this function here add task handler sorry so now here you need we need to fetch the event this is the default and let's console log it so let's see what we are getting here after so you see one thing whenever i am clicking on this add task here it this page is keep refreshing every time i am clicking this being refreshed right so how to prevent on this so all we need is event dot prevent default it happens because this submit button event is actually whenever we submit so it a new request is going on so now it will not refresh right here you can see my console log event so in this event we have a lot of values here so we have a thing that is target right in target you have this input and this input and the button value right so let's say i want event dot target here and if i'm click let me refresh it once and click on this i'm getting the form right so i'm getting the complete form so it is the target right and let's click on this dot value because we cannot get the value of a form right it's being undefined if i'm saying that get something here it is saying undefined so clear it what if we want the value if i say console dot log input i am getting undefined obviously so how to get the values of these input elements so here if you see this target is an array of these three part three elements like one is this input task name and this is date right so if i say target 0 dot value so it will give me whatever i i enter inside this i'm getting this value right and if i say console dot log event dot target 1 dot value because this is the second element of this array our date and i am adding a date here so i am getting the date and my task name both here right so i can fetch this from here so i am saying 
task name event dot target zero value right and task date event dot target one dot value right and let's console log both task date and task name see what we are getting so we are getting task date and task name as this object right here so whenever i am clicking on this add task button so i am fetching the input elements i am adding here right so i also want that whenever i add something and whenever i click on this add task button so this input elements will be cleared right so what i will do is i am saying after fetching this clear these values to as an empty string so now let's add a task new task or any date here and click on add task so i can see my task date and task name i have entered but now the input el input elements and input tags are empty right so our all things are done on this component now all we need to pass this data to the parent component this app.js because we need to add this name date to this object array right so that it will be added to this list right so how we can do that you already know about how we can lift the state up so as a simple thing let's create a simple function here so that we can pass that function via props to this form component to its child component right so i'm creating a add task handler and in this i need to fetch task name task date right and console log that here task date and task name pass it as a prop to this form component i'm saying on add task add task handler so let's fetch this on in this form on task on add task right so instead of logging this to here on add task i need to add task name and task date as here right so now it should console log in from this index.js component right let me refresh it once and let me enter a new task i'm saying enter it so i'm getting logged these both both elements both data i have entered in this index.js so now we need to pass this data from index.js this component to the app.js component right for you for doing that i'm creating a function here add task handler right and in this i also new i am only adding new task data right i am saying console.log new task data and pass this to the new task on add task and this add task handler fetch it here on add task right and here instead of logging this let's create a new object uh, because we need to pass object to here like this uh, let me copy it for the reference const new task 
instead of name let's add task name instead of this date let's add here task date and instead of id let's add some random number to be generated here right and instead of logging this i'm adding on add task new task so now this task will be go to this app.js and will be logged from this file and now update any input element i'm saying new data and add some date so here you can see i'm getting all my data like date name and id so now what i need to do is i need to push this data to this array how i can do that we already know about this set all task state right so let's move this function below here and let's say all tasks we can do by pushing this to task array and we can also do the same like set all tasks and array i'm saying new task data and also rest of our all tasks right now let's see what is happening here add a new task here new task add a date here add this so our new task is added to our list right and we can remove this as well right and add road trip this let's add it our to do list project is finished right we all need the same so if you want the css for this you can download or copy from the description section and this project is finished now and hope you have liked it so hit the like button and do subscribe to my channel and thanks for watching the video